For ACUSports.com, I'm Chris Macaluso, standing with a very elated and somewhat relieved <laughs> Wildcat duo of head coach Julie Goodenough and senior forward Lizzie Dimba. The Wildcats tonight prevail over Omaha in their first round WNIT consolation game. Final score 73-66. This game was a tug of war of the start. Neither team led by more than four points through the first three quarters. But Lizzie, your team dug deep in the fourth quarter. Outscore the Mavericks by nine points, 20 to 11. Um, how big was that that fight out there today? Uh, it was really good. We started off really sloppy in the first half, and we came back the second half, and we played really well and played as a team and came back and got a great win. What are some of the biggest differences that you noticed between the way your team played in the first half and the second half? We talked earlier about rebounding margin. Um, and a little bit of the defense, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't give up as many three-pointers, and we didn't give up a lot of uh, offensive rebounds. So that was really good, and that helped us come out with a win. And you had a fine night yourself, 18 points on 7 of 8 shooting. And uh, somewhat surprising, 3 of 3 from the three-point line today. You had two in the first half and, and one in the second half. Um, how does it feel to kind of take on somewhat of a, a new role as a three-point shooter, even though Coach Goodenough demands that all her players be become excellent three-point shooters. Uh, it was really good, and Coach Goodenough talked to me and told me I needed to be more offensive-minded this game, and I did that, th thankfully, and it came. It was really good. All right. We'll, we'll talk to your coach right now. Coach, excellent win tonight Thank for you. the program. This one's going to go down in the history books. It's very rare that we have a in-season um, tournament of this magnitude, the WNIT. Um, like I said earlier, f through the first three quarters, this was a tug-of-war game, nip and tuck. Both teams had trouble um, getting back-to-back -back stops or making back-to-back -back baskets, but what do you feel that was the difference in the final 10 minutes of this ball game to give your team a seven-point win? Well, we, we changed the way we were playing defense. Uh, we, we moved into a different uh, style of man-to-man, -man, and I thought that uh, for some reason really increased our intensity. Uh, we didn't give up as many open looks. Um, this is a great scoring team, Omaha is. Uh, they shoot lights out from the three-point line, and they're good mid-range jump shot shooters as well. And so I felt like our defensive intensity really uh, raised, you know, raised the intensity a level in the fourth quarter. And um, that was a big deal for us to be able to get stops. We rebounded better in the fourth quarter. And um, you know, our post players started making better sit decisions, I think, in the second half. In the first half, we were able to get it inside a lot. And we want to feed our posts as much as possible. But I think even when they didn't have a good shot, they tried to force some things. And second half, I thought that offensively, especially in the fourth quarter, we made uh, some better decisions about who needed to shoot the ball. And uh, shot selection was uh, a big point of emphasis coming into the game. And I think the final 10 minutes, we finally kind of settled down and realized where those shots were going to come from and didn't force as many shots. Uh, your team went ahead for good on a Lizzie Dimba layup, um, one of seven that she had tonight. And then following that basket, there was a crazy play. There was a loose ball on the ground. Nobody knew who was going to get to it. The shot clock's running down, and Susie Dimba hits one at the shot clock buzzer to give your team really the lead for good and give you guys a little bit of cushion. How big was that play in finally giving your side so momentum? Yeah, it, it was huge. It was a huge swing in the momentum. And um, I was proud of Susie for knowing she needed to get a shot off. And I was just hoping it would hit the rim so we could get a reset on the shot clock. And, uh, you know, she's probably been working on that shot. No, she has uh -huh. not. Um, but sometimes we do work on last second shots. And uh, I, I was just you know, I was uh, thankful that, you know, with her senior leadership, she knew she needed to get a shot off before the shot clock went off. And that, that ended up being a huge, huge basket for us. All right, Coach, enjoy the second half of tonight's doubleheader. It's going to be UT Rio Grande Valley against North Texas. The Wildcats will see the winner of that game tomorrow here at Moody Colum Coliseum at 6 p.m. For Lizzie Dimba and Julie Goodenough, I'm Chris Macaluso saying go Wildcats!